Welcome back, everybody, to Suica Din 2. Just to let you know, off screen, we went through the pass. We got some double beat rooms. Uh, we walked to the end, and here we are. I figured you guys didn't need to see that part. <laughs> Since, you know, we already walked through it the first time. So once you come to the end, and you've gotten everything you wanted to get, you'll talk to these men once more. But it looks like they're actually the men of Victor and Flick. Who knew? Thank God Rena isn't with us this time. How awkward would that be? <laughs> No one no one say anything about what happened with her, by the way, right? No one's going to open their mouth. <laughs> All right, so let's get out of here. Remember, we're still running away from the incident that happened in Kiaro. So we definitely have to leave here now. Yeah, we're okay. Don't worry about it. Victor's always crazy. Ha ha ha. Sorry about that. Everyone's fine, but if Mew's soldiers found out, <laughs> then we'd be in big trouble for going to Highland. All right, well... We won't say anything, will we? We'll make it our little secret. Sure. Uh-oh. Or maybe you think it's okay that you let these guys past your post. Ooh. Uh, now you're in trouble. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, well, you see, there was a really wonderful woman, and she uh, kind of gave me, you know, a little BJ behind the, the thing over there. You, you know? You, no? No? Oh, okay. No? Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> It's okay. Don't worry about it, like I said. Everyone's safe. <laughs> Man. Flick just wanted to razz him. That's what he does. He's so serious. All right, so like I said, I went ahead and got the double beats that I wanted. Uh, Ryu's level 10. Joey's level 10. Nanami is 9. Muku is level 8. Victor and Flick have not changed because they're 20. They will not gain levels here. Get everything you want here now because once we leave past the guards, you will not be able to come back here um, till the end of the game. Yeah, so do what you need to do, and then we're off. Hooray! <laughs> Just wanted to give a side note as we're walking back to the fortress. Thank you, everybody, for giving Sukadin a chance. I know it's a weird game, and not everybody is sure about it yet, but give it a chance. I think you guys will like it. I love it. This game is just one of my child... I wouldn't want to say childhood, that's the wrong word to use, but it's one of like the nostalgic games that I remember from when I was younger. Man, you know, when this game came out, I was in college. And you you guys know how it is in college. If you're in college, you play a lot of games sometimes during that time. And this was one of those games that I played during that time. So, yeah, I, I really love it. And I'm so glad that people are giving it a chance. Tell your friends. You know, and if you guys like it, we'll go on. And if it's, you know, if it's not that popular, maybe we'll have to reconsider. But for now, let's just do it. Hey, we're back. It's nice to be home. Well, your home? What about our home? the hell, man? <laughs> this junky fort? Flick, why are you so mean? <laughs> Watch your mouth. I like this place. It's got a certain charm. Right, Ryu? Joey? Um, sir? We just lost our home. Why you gotta ask us? I don't think so. This place? Um, I wonder. Ha 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 ha! A kid can't appreciate its greatness. Well, I'm gonna go relax for a while. You must be tired too, so take a nice rest. If you have questions, ask Leona. She's the woman who runs the bar. Oh yeah, I've met her before. I I don't think Joey should talk to her, I'll tell you that right now. I mean, he's, you know, he's pretty. <laughs> I mean, look what she did with me. So we're prisoners, I guess. Huh? Well, that's true, but... As long as you don't make trouble, you're free to do what you want. Why don't you go find recruits? We always need more of them. Take it easy here until things cool down. Meanwhile, I'll think of a good way to get back to Highland. Okay, so at least Flick is thinking with his mind. Whoa, can, can you guys get off my... Okay. <laughs> Guard dogs walking around. So we are technically a prisoner, but we can leave whenever we want. And we can recruit people and go do things. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So first thing you might want to do is uh, note that Leona, the uh, you know sexual harassment woman that we talked to. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't think this is cool. Leona is going to be the go-to lady for whenever we want to change our party. So as you can see right now, it gives us some of the party. Victor and Flick have left, technically. So here's what we're left with. Anyone that's grayed out, you cannot take out of your party at this time. So we have some choices. It does actually come with a couple of people now that we can recruit. Or I'm sorry, bring in our party, but it never actually told us that we could. So we can look at a list. Um, so who are we going to put in? <laughs> Gangan. Well, that's fantastic. That's all we've got. That's all we've got. Fine. <laughs> That's just fine. Let's do that. You know, it's good to have a full party at first. So that's how you change party members with her. 
Nail? Let's see. I think if we go down here, we can also talk to Paul. Yeah, he's in here. He can save your game at this time if you need to. Since there's really technically no in here. So we can do a save game. Why not? And there's a couple of other things we can do, and now we can start going recruiting. When they say recruiting for the mercenaries, what they really mean is you can start on the 108 characters of Destiny right now, even though we haven't technically learned about that yet. SPOILERS! You can talk to Barbara and put things that you don't think you're going to need in your store right now. So she's going to store some things for us. Let's see what we have. Um, we don't need this many escape talismans. I usually only carry one. We got some boots. Look at all these double bait runes. Oh my god. Um, let's see now. You gotta be careful with your inventory at first. The hazy rune I don't need right now. Cream stew. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> um, yeah, so, right. I think for now, this should be fine. Take all these uh, items that we need to be appraised, keep those with you for right now. Because we're going to go to a place right now where we can get those appraised. Later on, for a while we're going to have an inventory tr a problem. It's, it's known. Because soon, Barbara is going to be unavailable to us. Our inventory is going to get full really fast because it's going to be a long time before we can store anything. So that kind of sucks. So watch out for that. Oh wait! I'm dumb! I'm stupid! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to be stupid. One more thing you can do here before we leave. <laughs> There's so much you can do that it just, oh my god, it's mind boggling. You kind of just have to go at your own pace. That's what he said. <laughs> we can sharpen our weapons more right now to level three. I suggest that you do this whenever you can. Whenever you see a blacksmith anywhere, check them out. See if they can do it higher than what you have. It's worth it. It does make a difference. Oops, that was the wrong button. All right, everyone's weapon is level three or better, so let's go. If you got that technique rune in the way beginning, like I suggested that you do, money should not be an issue. So you can sharpen and be able to get the items that you want. So definitely do that. All right, so we can recruit. Where do we start? Well, we can go to Toto now. Let's do that. Toto is northwest of here, so you can follow the path. And come along this way. You can. You don't have to follow the path. You can go through. Like, it doesn't matter. But, you know, I do. It, for now, it makes it easier to show your direction. We do get a map later, which is handy. We don't have one yet. Shadow Dog? <laughs> Not having it. Get out of here, you. I'm just gonna auto these. It should be fine. You'll see a couple of new enemies along the path here now. Just take him out. With your party of six, it will not... Well, five. It will not be a big deal. Our main three are so high level now compared so that it's you're gonna be fine. There won't be any trouble. This is Toto here. Alright, we've never been here before. Let's look around. See what we can do. It looks pretty lively in here. There's people and a dog and and oh look at this. Whenever you see the magnifying glass, that's an appraiser. Let's check that out first. Basically for a small fee, they let you know about these little things that you picked up. These are for item collection and decoration later on in the game. So the first thing was a book. It was Old Book Volume 1. There's a whole bunch of those around to collect. A failure urn. <laughs> How appropriate. <laughs> Sounds like something I would carry. Octopus urn. All right. And a famous face. That was the one we took from uh, our home. Once you have things appraised, you can sell them at item shops or, like I said, use them for decoration and things like that. But you can't really do anything with them until they are appraised. So it's just something to keep in mind. There's an in here. We don't really need it just yet. Let's look around. There's cats everywhere and an item shop. Remember what I said about the item shop. Look in every one. Check out their rare finds and see if you need anything. An antitoxin is a rare find. I'm all set, madam. Madam? Wooden shoes, uh, for just one, I'm not, I'm not arsed about it. No big deal. All right, anything else? Cats, you guys know how I feel about cats. Maybe we should check out the inn, let's do so. We're looking for anybody that might stand out or look different, hello. Sir? 
I don't think it gets much different than this guy. What do you want? You have some business with me. Yeah, we do. If we don't have business, that means we can't talk? You've got a smart mouth, little girl. But I don't like people wasting my precious time. What the hell are you? Wasting? Are you saying talking to us is a waste of time? It may not be a complete waste, but it's not exactly useful either. What? How dare you? Let's go, Ryu. We wouldn't want someone like this anyway. Yeah, what a snob. What? What do you mean? I mean, we don't need you, understand? What are you talking about? You saying I'm not valuable? Listen, weren't you the one that didn't want to be talked to? I'm strong. I've got good moves. I look good. I'm perfect in every way. How could you say you don't need me? <laughs> Whoa. What is going on? What? You want to fight? I'll show you exactly how valuable a man I can be. And Zamza joins. <laughs> That's it. He's in your party. Whether you like it or not. I forgot that I had Gengen in the back. That was a big fail. Put him in the front. So he can do something other than annoy you. I don't care who it is. Shall I prove to you that nobody can stand against my strength and my magic? Why, this dude's got something to prove big time, dude. What is it with this guy? Okay, here I go, little girl. You'll all appreciate me. You'll all say you're happy to have me as an ally. Whoa. Someone's got issues, I think. I I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so after those words, he automatically joins. Great. Like I said, you don't want to miss the recruits. Very important. Even if someone gives you an attitude. <laughs> Which most of them will. Alright, so other than that, you can't really do too much here in Toto right now, so we can go. You just go there to get Zamza. He's alright. He's a mostly magic caster. He will do a little bit of sword work for you. He's kind of a jack of all. So to me, he's not too useful. Here's another new enemy, the woodpeckers. They're not a big deal. I'll show them just because we haven't seen them. Uh, they, these guys do drop the killer rune, if you're interested. The killer rune, I believe, raises critical hit 50%. Good for melee characters that are melee, all melee. Um, so if you want that, go ahead and get that from them. I know it sucks that we're moving so slow. This won't happen forever. Um, let's go to Ryube. I think we can pick up somebody there right now, too. A lot of these characters are one-time only deals. Some of them you'll find later if you miss them, but you, you definitely want to keep your eye out. Well, hello? Um, there's a dead person here. <laughs> Does anyone care about that? Doesn't look like it. Wait, he's moving a little. What's his deal? Oh, <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> looks like Wolverine. Are you okay? My, my stomach. Um, sir? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Does it hurt? Stomach, so hungry. Can't move. Please, p please give me food. Um, I mean, come on. Y just do it. <laughs> Thanks. I, I, I owe you. Alright, dude, it's fine. I mean, don't die on us, really. What kind of people would we be? <laughs> the people that stand and watch you eat everything. <laughs> That's the kind of people we are. Thanks. Th th thank you very much. My name is Ricky Maru. I'm what you call a traveler. It's sad, but I lost my money along the way. Really? I won't forget this. It's alright, dude. Um, uh, bill's on you. Th Three thousand bucks? What the hell did you eat, man? What? What? Uh, uh, what? How did that even happen? What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did this occur? You have to pay it or you can't recruit him, so pay it. It's very important. Alright, I got my money. Oh man, you better be worth $3,000. And I mean in every way. I better get a happy ending and everything. Holy crap, man. What the hell? Oh, is that right? So Master Ryu's staying at the mercenaries fort? Don't call me master, that's creepy. I'm like 12. Well, okay, I think he's actually like, I don't know, 14? That's what I'm gonna guess. They don't really tell you. Okay, I'll help out too or my name isn't Ricky Maru. Alright, fine. <laughs> he joins. He'll go back because your party's full. Those mercenaries, they get fed well, don't they? Oh, gee, no. One time they gave me this moldy bread. I just want to let you know. <laughs> Alright. 
Ricky Maru is a swordsman. He's kind of like one of those, you know, lone samurai kind of deals, a wandering guy. Um, he's alright. I don't use him. It, the good thing about Sukunin is you really have a choice. I mean, someone could be good to you if you want to use them, right? Flaming arrows, don't need it. Anything else? No. Madam, you are useless. I'm getting out of here. So, like I said, it's up to you who you want your, your party members to be. Some people like some of the obscure characters and take them all the way to the end, and that's totally cool. Oh, no, we can't sharpen anyone here. I'm not going back to the fort to do it either. It's too much of a pain in the ass. Let's just go. There's a girl on the, here somewhere walking around that we can talk to. You'll know her. She looks very different. Here she is. Oh, no. What should I do? Huh? Do you want something? What's wrong? My pet Bonaparte is lost. He ran into the forest, probably up into the mountain. Will you help me find him? Uh, sure, we'll do it. You have to say sure. Really? Thanks. Okay, let's go, let's go. Wait, Bonaparte. Millie joins. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you right now, Millie sucks ass. <laughs> but she's not as bad as Muku Muku. Just do it. You have to. Moo? <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't look at me like that. It's, it's not my fault. Alright, this is fine. I usually have Ryu out in the front. I just do that. And it automatically puts you in the woods. This is the woods that we tried to get into before that the guards said that we couldn't go into because there was a monster. Bonaparte, where are you? I don't know. Are you sure this is a good idea? <laughs> Alright. So let's go this way. Actually, quite like it in here. And first, we'll go northeast. Oh no, okay, these boars are not good. They can hurt you. So what I would do is go ahead and unite with Joey first. Take them all out. Let's get some magic going too. Fire dragon. See, this is the thing about his rune, right? It gives damage to him, which is kind of stupid. But we'll give it a shot. Gengen -gen attack. Millie just sucks, just do whatever with her. And Nanami can attack too. And that should be okay. Alright, let's do. If you have one, you're fine, but these guys can run into you and kind of like bombard you, which they're about to do. That can hurt. It's not good. So do your best. That is so lame. Like, why would you do that for half damage? In my mind, not worth it. <laughs> He says he's so great, but Zamz is really not that great. If you put different runes on him, he'll be fine for now as your magic user because you don't really have options for a magic user right now. So you can do that. That's one thing you could try. Hopefully no one will die. God, they have so much HP. How unlucky that we run into them right now. They're a problem. Three of them at that. Zams is already almost dead. Whatever. Whatever these things happen. <laughs> um. I don't even want to heal him, but I'm going to. Let's do some normal attacks. He can heal himself since he doesn't do that much damage. Same old, same old thing. You can do the family attack, but remember, Nanami will be unbalanced for a turn. It's all up to you. Jesus! So much HP! Well, that was unlucky, was it not? <laughs> That's what dead people look like! There it is! <laughs> For your enjoyment! It's fine. We don't have Resurrect or anything like that just yet. You don't get that actually for a while, so it kind of can be a little bit tricky. Stupid boars. Good dodge there, though. Well done. I should have put the runes on them early, but I didn't think about it. I'm like, whatever, I usually don't. Oh well. It's fine. When you have a KO'd partner and you're out of battle, it just turns to 1 HP, so you can heal them with the medicines in your bag. Heal up everyone that got hurt. And you're fine. That's really weird. You don't usually end up running into that many at first. Oh no, what happened here? Oh, put it back in its nest. Why wouldn't you? You need to do this. <laughs> Aw. Poor bird. You're alright. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> go up here and then you can go into these trees here. 
for some items. Leather cape and a gauntlet. I'll take it. Who can wear those? Let's find out. We can probably put some of these boots on people too. Why not, right? Who needs them? Does anyone need them? Eh, one over the gloves. I like to keep medicines on most people for now, just in case. I probably suggest you do that. Protection one over the boots. I always give Ryu, obviously, the best things first, which is what you should do. Who can use these gloves? Anyone? You can. <laughs> I'm just giving out crap. This is like the Salvation Army. That's what this is like. Over the boots? Certainly. Um, sure. I don't give anything to Millie, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I don't give two craps about that. Alright, that's fine. Alright, back down here. There's another way we can go up now, but we don't need to. Um, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm not having it. Let's go this way. And see what's over here. Ah! What happened? Whoa, what's that thing? Hello? <laughs> hey, Bonaparte! Wait! Hurry after him! Alright, let's go. Come back here, you! I'll get you. This episode's gonna be a little bit long. But you guys have to let me know, do you want longer episodes? Maybe a little? Because Suikoden is long. You can't run anymore. Now I've got you. Oh, he's smart. Whoa, is everything- what? Ah, what are you doing? That's right, her pet is a stupid boss. <laughs> this is Bonaparte, he has 600 HP. He can be a little bit troublesome if you have a crappy party, which guess what? They force you to have a crappy party. There's nothing you can do. Family attack this guy, because it's only one. It'll get you the most damage. I'm gonna have... Sansa just attack. I don't really feel like whittling his HP for nothing. Gengen can attack. Millie can do jack shit all. And Joey can attack as well. Let's try this and see how you do. This is the biggest single hitter and here's the family attack. Pretty cool. Alright. 118 is not bad. Just whittle him down. He has some nasty attacks that can do quite a bit of damage. Like this? Like eating people? Sir, do not eat me! No! <laughs> That's gross! Man, the inside of his mouth looked disgusting. Let's just be honest. <laughs> so there it is. Whoever needs healing, just heal them. I think everyone's okay for now. If Gengen gets hit again, it's gonna suck. You can use Nanami to heal people even while she's down, so I'm gonna do that. Make her worth something. While she's sitting there not doing anything. And you should have the fight. It'll take a couple of rounds, probably. No big deal. Knockdown, well done! Also 69 damage, did anybody else see that? <laughs> Knockdown means he loses that turn. Always good when that happens. Eh, well, we're just gonna tackle everyone else. That should be fine. Do it! There's two versions of this attack. There will be one coming up, I'm sure we'll see it. Where Nanami kind of doesn't do her job. She kind of cheers Ryu on and futzes around and waves flags and stuff. <laughs> that was it. It was really not hard. I don't know. I don't even know why they call that a boss, but they do. <laughs> so basically, we just killed a gopher. What is it? Are you scared? You shouldn't run away, boy. It's okay. Good boy. Don't be scared. Are you okay with that thing? Like, really? See? Bonaparte's back. Isn't he cute? Uh, no. <laughs> Just say I guess so. Humor her. Isn't he? Isn't he? Good boy, Bonaparte. Oh, for fuck's sake, woman. <laughs> Thanks for helping me find Bonaparte. In return, I'll go with you. Hooray! We've recruited someone completely useless. Millie is completely useless. You know what? If you guys have ever used her, just comment. Let me know. I would- I would love to have open discussion about this game in the comments. I really would. Oh, Jesus. I don't want to fight these guys, you guys. I don't want to. No. I don't want to do it. They're very resistant to physical, and that's all we really have right now. Try to run. You need magic for them. If you see them right now, honestly, I probably would just run. <laughs> it's not worth it.
So like I said, I would love to have open discussion about Suikoden right now. Uh, barring any crazy plot spoilers, let's talk about it. There's so much to talk about in this game, and so many people just haven't played it or, or haven't had the chance to talk about it with anybody because so few people have played it. Let's do it. Talk about your favorite characters. Like I said, barring any crazy spoilers later, but you can mention the characters that you like. There's so many different types and kinds, and you'll see. It gets really cool later on. It really does. The spiders are no big whoop. You can take them out. They can poison you, so be careful about that. Running back. Now, if you come back to where you put the baby bird up, we can actually see some people here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Woo! Cool. You. Was it you who put the baby bird back? Uh-huh. We did that. Really? So Shiro was right. Woof. <laughs> I'm Kinnison. This is Shiro. We're hunters who live in this forest. But recently, the Highland Army has been scaring off all the game. What are you doing here? We're looking for companions to join us. You have to say this. If you say this by accident, that's it. You're done. You can't get a perfect ending. They'll be gone forever. Recruit them. They're actually very good. Really? Looking for companions? If things keep up, the Highland Army will ruin this forest. What should we do, Shiro? Woo woo! <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. If we can be of help... You, I'm sorry, what was your name? Oh yeah, Ryu. We'll be your companions if you'll have us. Shiro too. Hooray! We recruit Kinnison and Shiro, who is considered a separate member. You can take Shiro without Kinnison and he stands on his own as a beast. And we'll talk about beasts a little later. Okay, should we go with you? Yes. Take them. They're very good at this point. They're much better than Millie, so see you later, woman. <laughs> and then, um... That should be fine. And then Shiro will join too. And I will take out Zamza. I, I don't know. I'm not a fan. You Like I said, you can get Zamza better if you put better runes on him. But since I don't have any at the moment, <laughs> I will say yes. Okay, see you later. You're a fool to go without me. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Shiro is short and Kinnison is long. I usually set them up like this. And that should be fine for you. All right, so we've recruited quite a few people so far, but we have more to do. In the next episode, we will go back and fuck around with some stuff, and then more. We're going to go back to Toto and recruit one more person, and there will be some adventures on the way. So thanks, guys. See you later. Shit.